All right. Well, had a debate with uh, Oregon Municipal uh, Pro Se Cuter, who refused to dismiss any charges. Actually had the audacity to tell me that because of court rulings, the state of Ohio has no privacy rights that they can be violated. So um, we argued for probably about mm, 30 minutes, uh, maybe 40 minutes in her office about my uh, right to travel in an automobile to which she would not confess. She wanted me to confess that I was operating a motor vehicle when in fact I told her, no, I was traveling in an automobile. And then when I gave her Thompson versus Smith, American jurisprudence, um, constitutional law, she completely ignored it and didn't want to go there at all. In fact, what she tried to tell me was that um, the state statutes and codes and policies have more authority than the Constitution. And what I tried to explain to her was that without the Ohio Constitution and without the Constitution of the United States of America, statutes, codes, and policies have no authority. That's where you derive your power from. You first have to stand on the Constitution, which includes my First Amendment right, which is the right to redress, the right to free press, um, and the right to express myself. Then you secondly fall into the Fourth Amendment right, which is the right to privacy, the right to an unlawful search and seizure of property, persons, and their effects, which she says that my license plate that I pay for, okay, I pay for that, is not considered private. And so a cop can without any probable cause, run your license plate. Um, so now you are looking at violations of the Fourth and Fifth Amendment rights because, well, you just, I did nothing wrong to run my plate. So if you violate my privacy of my license plate and then violate my Fifth Amendment right to use what you find against me, um, those are some big violations. So... It's interesting. They gave me a court date back now, um, November 29th. Uh, I asked for my discovery, and of course, they want me to put it in writing. So if I'm going to have to put things in writing, I'm going to put a lot in writing. I'm going to demand corpus delecti. I'm going to demand that show me the victim. Show me the damage to property that I caused. Okay, because those are the two elements that you must have to have good standing of a crime. She kept referring to codes, statutes, and policies as law, state law. Well, you cannot confuse the three. There is law, which is the Constitution. Then you've got the Ohio Revives Code, which is then statutes, legislation, which now leads you to a bill of attender, which is pains and penalties that are prescribed to you without a jury trial. It's a mess. The judicial system is an entire mess. And then last, her advice was that I had a pretty good understanding of the constitutional law. However, she says that doesn't exist anymore. It's all about code, statutes, and policies. And she advised me to get an attorney, an attorney of record, a bar attorney, which is loyal to the crown, English parliament law, admiral time maritime law, if you will, jurisdiction, um, to help figure out that part. And it, it's just interesting because our forefathers wrote it in there. The Federalist Papers protects our rights to the Constitution so that uh, you cannot have anything taken away from you. You can only have more freedom given to you. There can be no restrictions. And what she did is she restricted my rights to travel. And even when I brought up the United States Court, United States of America uh, Supreme Court, um, Thompson versus Smith, she didn't want to look at that because in there it is very descriptive that I have a right to be happy in the pursuit of liberty, life, liberty, and happiness and travel in my automobile. But she did not want to admit that I was traveling in my automobile. All she wanted to accuse me of was operating a motor vehicle. You have to have that ear and listen to the words that they want to use. They try to confuse us by declaring that statutes, codes, and policies are a figure of law. When in fact, the only way, and I'm gonna say this again, the only way you can derive any power, any authority into statutes, codes, and policies is A, if you are compliant to the Constitution of the United States of America and the state constitution. And I know, I know that 200 years ago, um, 
it, it, it was no longer the United States of America. And I know the Bankruptcy Act of 1913 now created a United States, and that makes a foreign corporation. Um, we discussed a lot. We talked about how she doesn't receive federal grant money, but she did admit to a Dun & Bradstreet number, and she did admit that the Oregon court received funding from that type of um, entity. So uh, she did tell me that the federal government has absolutely no authority over her or that court of record. In fact, she had a hard time identifying the court of record with the court of record of the United States of America. She wanted to try to put herself above and beyond. Um, one of the things that I've been arguing is I have a valid Michigan driver's license and it's been valid since 2013 when I traded it, my Ohio driver's license, for a Michigan driver's license. Um, and when I did that, it made my Ohio driver's license expire. So my question to her, which she could not answer was, how do you suspend something that I don't even have? So then she acted like the state of Ohio was supreme nation, supreme state. Um, she did not want to hear the Pledge of Allegiance, which goes one nation under God, liberty and justice for all, a republic, which is individual. Um, you know, so... But she wanted to say that the state of Ohio was the supreme state of all 50 states. And what they say makes the presidents, the standings, sets the tone, sets the bar for the rest of the country. Um, but she couldn't show it on paper. Um, so it's going to be interesting. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I guess I'm going to have to file some briefs, especially one, the right to record. Because when I mentioned that, said, nope, forbidden. I'm not allowed to record my own proceedings. Um, and again, I just take it back to they don't want me to uh, video their bad behavior or their treason um, because that's what it is, okay? I mentioned to her that, you know, she was trying to harm me and she doesn't see how. But when I asked her to dismiss the charges, she giggled and said, that's not going to happen. I don't dismiss anything. So, okay, game on.